Well, week 12, the penultimate of the Starters Orders 6 League, the National Hunt. We've got uh, plenty of races for you this week. We're going to start at the Punchestown Festival. We're going to have 20 races for you. The first 12 are obviously today. Well, with the flat championship more or less uh, sewn up by John Morgan with a couple of weeks to run, the National Hunt not quite so. With uh, both Josh and uh, Paul fighting it out at the top. Uh, Josh with 57 winners, Paul with 54, even after his uh, fantastic entry eight last week. Joshua managed to pick up three of the smaller races elsewhere, I think Cheltenham, to keep his three, three win advantage as we go into the last two weeks. So they'll both be battling out uh, today, tomorrow and Wednesday. So uh, let's have a quick look at the races that we've got, obviously to start off the Punchestown Festival. So the 12 races today, the first race is uh, a two mile grade one novice hurdle. It's the evening Herald champion novice. The two uh, horses obviously in there that look quite good. Obviously Fired Earth of Darren Thompson must have a chance. Obviously Paul's Golden Highway and Joshua Sons, the Irish King will want to battle it out. But uh, Paul's Golden Highway is uh, rated 20 better. So may well have the advantage in that race. Race two, it's a two mile handicap hurdle. It's the Master Chef. Uh, top rated there is Cumber Choir for Darren Thompson. There's going to be a fair few out of the handicap there. I'm not sure who will take that. Looking across, across the card, you've got Galabala, who's uh, a relatively good hurdler, going off 99, so he'll be off 9 stone 12, must have every chance in that race. Race 3 is the Punchestown Champion Chase, it's a 2 mile group 1, where Joshua's Kingdom of Colts will go up against Arm Warhead for Paul Rhodes. Form wise, nothing looks particularly good in there, there's only 8 of them going to post. Um, so good luck in that one. Race four is the Growwise Champion Novices Chase over three mile one furlong. Again, a small field of eight. Aero Love for Molly at Surfer, a winner last time out. Hot Ports uh, had some really good form and was only second last time. Battle of the Hot Gates for Joshua, rated 170, although he was unseated his rider in his previous run. And where Hot Ports just rated a couple of marks above uh, at 172. Race 5, that's the LFH hurdle. It's over two miles, a juvenile for the four year olds. Again, you did the top trainers, Kingdom of Gods with Joshua. Dame Joanna Lumley for Paul Rose looking to get uh, two wins on the bounce. And you've also got in there uh, Leon's Princess Treasure, hasn't got a lot of form. Saint Domingo, great winner for Martin Leadham at Cheltenham. Didn't do particularly well last week. So any of those four year olds could do well. Race 6. That's the War of Attrition Novice Hurdle, and that's over three miles, small field there of seven. The top boys are all in there, eight's the conclusion for Joshua, pulled up last time out. The comb for David Robinson won last week. Little Rockefeller for John Morgan, been second, third and second in its last three. So he'll be looking to get back into the winner's enclosure. And then you've got Villa de la Plata for Paul Rhodes, whose form has been pretty poor. Pulled up, came fourth, pulled up and came fourth. So again... Uh, pretty good race. Race 7, the Punchestown Gold Cup Chase. It's over 3 mile 1. It's a group 1. Nice big field here. You can have a couple of entries. Again, if we look at the top trainers, you've got Joshua Sutherland's maximum impact and time to kill. Both won their last time outs. Rated 178 and 175. Got to have a big chance in this. And they're going to be chased, obviously, by acquitted of Paul Rhodes and Wild Bill. Neither have got much form of late. You've got John Morgan's run and skips down there. Again, not much form. Tin is apple for Darren Thompson. One last time out. And Fallon Melancholic for Martin Leadham down the bottom. Um, second last time. One at, obviously at Cheltenham. So good luck to those in that. That leads on to race eight. And that's the Ryanair Novices grade one. Chase. Again, a small field of just eight. Uh, you've got Dogs of War of Leon Van Rensburg looking to... Looking to probably get a win. Slaney Fox and John Morgan looks good. One last time out. North Wind of Paul Rhodes has dropped out of form. One, uh, one it's a couple of starts, a few back. A perfect match for Joshua Sutherland. Doesn't have a lot of form at the moment. But Toizo Valley for Darren Thompson, a winner last time out. Rated 160. I uh, should fancy will go well. Then race nine is the Irish Sun Chase. It's over two miles. It's a handicap. Um, very big field there. Uh, anything could really win that. I mean, down the bottom of the weights, you got Gilder of Kevin Meanahan, Emma Jane running off 125. It's uh, 0 to 140, so top of the pile will be Igu Goo Warrior Queen for Paul Rhodes. And then race 10 is the Guinness Handicap Chase over 2 mile 4. 
it's worth £64,000. Nice big field here. And top rated horse in the chase event is going to be, I think, the 134s of the King's Estate for Darren Thompson and Sonic Lady for Graham Clutterbuck. It's a bit unfortunate to be running off 130, oh no, 134. Um, it certainly hasn't had any form in its last four races. Stray Bullet for David Robertson's in there. Winner last time out. Must go well off 133. And actually, top weight's going to be Molto Stupido for Molly at Surfer off a 160. Lizzie's Boy for Darren Howes. One last time out. Only rated 106 is certainly going to go around there with 9 stone 12 in his back and also Joshua Zombie winner last time out going to be running off 112 he's uh, really a hurdler so good luck to everybody in that and then our last two races of the day you know, race 11 is going to be the bumper over two miles usual suspects it's all in the hips of Joshua Paul and stars of Paul Rhodes going to be between then those two I imagine and uh, they'll be looking to increase their total wins and the last race of the day is going to be La Touche Cup at Punchtown it's the four mile two handicap chase plenty of the uh, Grand National runners in here top of the weights is going to be Ikea Q for Paul Rhodes along with Fast Lass for David Robertson he's only run twice this season be looking to maybe follow up his win from his first start came fourth next time out so be looking to win off 142 and 12 stone. Paula of Graham Clutterbuck off one, uh, Graham Clutterbuck's of, off of 104 has every chance. A winner last time out. Got plenty of form. And then down the bottom, not really anything uh, with form. Whitney has uh, not done very well for James Follett. Street 5 for Doug Warren. So good luck in that one. And uh, it will be both myself and Martin that will be calling them home. See if you can guess this tune that's playing in the background. It's a sports theme might not necessarily be the TV. I'll catch up with you tomorrow.